Hello friends, welcome back. In this video I'm going to work with a store. So here we have the project. We are in the home, we display the user. And also I have opened the backend here. And if I open the VS code, inside the source components, we have the home page, the home component here. And we have imported the on mounted from view and also the ref, we created the content for the user. And then on mounted, we call this get token first, as you can see. So let's say here, first we say get token, and then we get the user. Okay. And we create the console for get the token, and we call here, and then we get the user and assign the user here with the data we get from the API. Okay, now let's create the store. We have installed the Pina here in the first uh, video, I think. And I'm going to save this for now. And inside the source directory, I'm going to create new directory here and I'm going to name it stores. And in here, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to name it auth.js. Here I'm going to create the store. First I'm going to import. So let's import the define store from Pina. And also I'm going to import Axios because we are going to make some API calls here. So import Axios from Axios. And now let's create the store. I'm going to say export export like this const and I'm going to name it use auth store so the convention is to have used before the name the name and after the store okay like this which is going to be equal with the define store we have imported and here first we need to add as you can see here a ID string and for the ID I'm going to say auth you can name it what you like and then we can add options here first I'm going to add the state which is going to be an anonymous function here and I'm going to add the auth user I'm going to name it and initially this out user is going to be null and I'm going to assign with a null because I'm going to show and hide this if the user is null or not then let's create the getters so getters here an object and then the actions okay for the getters, for now, I'm going to create only one. I'm going to name a user, which is going to accept the state and is going to return. So the state dot out the user, the current user we have here. That's it for the getters right now, just the user. Okay, then I'm in the actions now. I'm going to go inside the home page and I'm going to create two actions, the get token and the get user. And then here we are going to import the state, the store here and display the what we want. So the user and the actions also. So first I'm going to say here, or let's go and let's import this. Let's copy this, not import. And in here, I'm going to say, create an async. We can create a sync function here, async get token. Okay. And here I'm going to paste what we have copy. So what we have copy here, I'm going to add inside the out.js, async get token. And now we don't need it here, so let's remove. Then I'm going to create 
another action to get the user. So let's copy this as it is here and come here and create another action. And another action is going to be an async function and I'm going to name it get user. And as you can see here, first we have called the get token, then the get user. So let's get the user first. I'm going to say paste that we have to copy here. But now instead of uh, assigning this user here, I'm going to assign the user we have in the state. And we can access that by saying this, which is referring to the state here, this dot out user. It's going to be equal with data dot data. Okay, the same we have here. Now, if I save as it is right now, and let's remove the axios from the home page. Let's remove this also and the get token, also the user and the ref. Let's import now this uh, out JS. So import and we named use out store. from go up to the stores slash out like this and then here we need to create an instance of that your store so we're going to create a constant and i'm going to say out store is going to be equal with this use out store object and now as you can see here we need to call the get token and then the get user and we can say for example uh, wait out user sorry out store dot get token like this but uh, I not going to do that I'm going to do in the get user here I'm going to call this get token so I'm going to say this dot get token in here and then in the home we just call the get user so let's say await out store dot get user let's save and let's open the browser and refresh inspect the element and let's go inside the view. We have Pina and we have the auth. And as we can see, we have the auth user with an object with all the user details. Now, here we have the username and the user email. Uh, I'm going to cut this and add a div. And I'm going to say here, v if we have that user. So with auth store and now I'm going to use this uh, getter user which return the out user I'm going to say out user out store dot user like this if that is true display that otherwise I'm going to add another div and say v else I'm going to say here uh, h1 Go and log in like this. Let's save and let's see. Oh, here we need to say out username and out user email. So let's copy that and paste it here like this. So out store dot user dot name. And as you can see, we have this the name and the email because we are logged in. Let's refresh. Okay, now let's uh, log out. Sorry for that. Let's inspect the element and go to the application. Cookies, clear this. For now, we don't have the logout, but we are going to create that. And now we can see we have go and login. Let's go and log in here. 
as a test user so test example dot com add the password and now we have the login yeah navigate to the home page we have the name and the email and that's it about this video that we so we created the store now i'm going to move all the logic for the login as well as you can see also here we have created this get token and now we are going to move the logic in the auth js so we don't need the get token also we are going to remove the move this handle login in here and the handle register we are going to move in the auth js so we can have lean uh, components Okay friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.